What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Trey, and as usual, I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I, all right, so I kind of wanted to just have a nice, light mood. You know what I mean? Like, I've... I don't want to step on no one's toes too badly, but James Harden. Since 2014, you have been one of the top MVP candidates, like one of the top players in the league. Like dating back to that time, you have ranked fourth in the MVP in the MVP voting list. So since that time, you at least booked the fourth. That's tough. Like you were, you were deemed the best scorer in the history of the game by some people. An elite playmaker, like a showstopper, box office, a, like a star. And then you get traded to the 70s, or to the Brooklyn Nets, and then to the 76ers. And, you know, we're expecting, okay, well, that Houston Rocket, James Harden, to be paired with this 76ers, Joel Embiid. That's going to be either a championship or bust. Like, that's what, we're, that's what we were salivating over. That's what we were thinking, okay, well, that might happen. You know, we understand what happened in, in Brooklyn. Like, you you showed flashes. You didn't look trash. Like, we, okay, he's still the quality player. It's just the situation. The mandate with Kyrie, injuries to KD, injuries to yourself. Like, we get it. You're hoping for something else? Like, you are... Let's go over the positive, right? Let's go over the positive of James Harden. Because, again, I'm not... I am not trying to knock James Harden, okay? He is a big playmaking guard, right? About 6'4", 6'5", 220. It's always helpful. Then, he's a respectable scorer. Like, he threw up 21 points. And we're saying, oh, he slipped. He threw up 21 points. Come on now. And not to mention, well, he is a better defender than people give him credit for. I'm not saying he's elite. I'm saying he's a better defender. Like, you remember the, the, the Houston Olay days? Well, he's not that. That's not him. It's a little bit closer to the earlier OKC days. A little bit closer. So, those are the positives of James Harden. You know, like, good player. I, from a talent perspective, you would like to have him. The negatives, though, is, well, on this team constructed currently, you need another elite uh, score. You need another elite score, and that's not him anymore. Even even Joel Embiid said that. And not to mention your play, like your performance actually proved that. So okay, you're not the elite score that you once were. Well, you're also not as impactful as you want on the defensive end. Again, you're not trash because you're not as impactful like you're not a liability but you could be a liability you could be a liability in both um you're also not as effective off the ball so if you're not the elite scorer what do you gotta be the playmaker all right that's cool but like Tyrese Maxey might need the ball in his hand Joel B might need the ball in his hand so you're not as effective off the ball at least you haven't shown that it's tough and the final two points for me, he, these ones really hurt. Like, they, they, your playoff woes continue. Notice I had to put the jacket on. Like I had to cross the jacket. I'm not trying to be calm on this one. You, your playoff woes continue, bro. They continue, and you get paid buku worth of money, like 40 plus mil. And you took one more shot than you and I did in a win or go home game for the second half I might understand the first half maybe you're trying to do something like CP3 but that's not this is the second half of a win or go home game you take one shot you pay and you're paid 40 million dollars that is trash like I'm sorry that ha- I, that's that that those are two cons right there. Your playoff woes and your contract. If you're making less doing that, fine. Even though I still say that's trash. 
At least we're not paying you 40 mil. At least. <laughs> like, maybe there's a silver lining in that. So, what I'm expecting to see from James Harden, and again, just a quick little recap. He's not the star that he once was. Uh, my, in my definition, I always say this other star is top 10. And I don't think he's a top 10 player in the league. I don't. Because again, you're not that elite. You're not that elite scorer. You're not a good playmaker. I can see no lower than 18 and 10. Like, I, that's what I expect from James Harden. He gave you 21. So 18 to 22 points, that's what I'm expecting. 10 assists, that's what I'm expecting. Not the 30 balls no more. Like, an average? No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm also... I also need you to... I also need you to attack the basket. Like, come on, bro. You are a 6'4", 220 guard. Use your size a little bit more. And stop trying to go for a foul ball. They're not going for that as much anymore. Like, you're the face of that program. <laughs> Embrace it and just go. Like, you got Embiid to back you up. And finally, take a pay cut, bro. Don't get the contract extension. I hope they don't give you the contract extension. No disrespect, you, you're worth a lot of money. Just not worth the contract extension because they need to get you more help. You want a chip, get more help. You want the money and, you know, more scrutiny, then take the money. But you know the, the scrutiny is going to come. And people going to say, oh, he's not clutch like we said. Doc Rivers is stupid. Joel Embiid is stupid. Da 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 da. Like, all these players going to get money. Take less money, champ. But again, a good player. Again, dating back to 2014, he was four, on average fourth in the MVP voting list. So that means from 2014 to 2022, you could book him at least four. Like, you can make that, if Andrew wanted to make that an option, you could. But do y'all agree with me or disagree with me? Has Harden officially not, like, is he, is, he, is he officially not a star anymore? Like, do you think he should take less money? Like, what do you, like, what are you thinking? I, wa I want to know. Please comment, like, subscribe, comment, tell anybody who's anybody about the show. My name is Trey. I'm the host of Get a Bucket. Hope you have a good one. Take care.